and welcome back. This is Baller Scooper with more Let's Play Evil Land 2. I'm joined, as always, by our time traveling squad of Dante, Peach, and Daisy. When we last left off, we opened up the game, it seems like. So uh, let us try to head back and see what we can do to get, well, Bima back. Might also want to do something with you, but for the time being, let's see if we can't find Biba. Last time, I thought we left him at the bluff, but memory's a little hazy about that. No, no, this is where we got in in the future. Still can't read that, but nothing doing right now. Uh, we should probably go ahead and head to BB's tent since I'm up here because I should have more mana. Ah, oh, what a fine young man you are. What can I do for you, darling? Awake an ally. Do you know what you're asking? Yes, I do. Right, I have mana. If they're not ready, they'll die. That's probably not good, but I think that they're ready. I only have one. All right, let's use it. Oh, wonderful. You dig us some mana? We'll get the awakening then. Daisy. Or no one. Let's go with Daisy. Upgrading powers. Daisy's power has reached level two. Focus longer for a more powerful attack. We'll see if I can't do something with that. What can I do for you, darling? Nothing. We're good. See you soon, my rubber ducky. Oh, that is a little concerning. All right, so we have what I assume is a lot of work to do. So if it wasn't up at the bluff, then it was over on the island, wasn't it? Can we get back to that island? I feel like getting Biba back should be kind of a big deal and, and should be something that should be a priority for me. So let's head over here with the almost Monkey Island music and see if we can't get back. Well... Where exactly did you want to go? What? You want to go to the Cursed Isle? Isn't it just my lucky day? Fair warning, there's no way we're docking there. You get off in a rowboat and board again after. I won't wait for you more than an hour. If you don't come back alive, that's your problem. Have I made myself clear? Sure. Okay, so do you want to leave now? Yes. All right, then let's go. So off we go. There's a few things that I know I can take care of, uh, but there's definitely a lot of things that were on the list that were a little weird, if I remember correctly. So I'll see what I can do for the time being, though. I want to try to get Biba back. So we should have left him here. Somewhere. Unless he didn't wait for us. That's not open. Now I have to remember how to open that up. All right, don't I do something with this? the heck are you on about oh wow all right so i'm a little a little early here i'm only theorizing it is equally possible we will end up in my era or that of miss peach and super morio but as miss peach would say i fear we had no other choice anyway exactly off we go dante we won't know till we get there and i don't want to stick around in this future They've disappeared. Why did I fail to leave with them? And what am I to do now? Wait for me to come get you. Just hold tight a little bit here. I don't know why that went back up, to be honest with you. Or down. Either way, I get the puzzle solving chime and we can get Biba back. This is what I came to do, so I'm happy about this. Hey, Biba! Notice I also have another purple friend. So I, now I have two, so I'm definitely not racist. Biba, am I glad to see you again? Super Mario, Miss Peach, I thought you had vanished forever. That must mean the Magilith did not serve its purpose. Actually, it did. It worked just fine, but it's a long story. Where should I start? And then we told the whole story. 
I can hardly believe it. My son. A, a terrorist? And the weapon. But I mustn't worry so. Reno is no longer a child in this era, so he surely must have fled before the explosion. Perhaps I shall see him yet? Yeah, we'll see about that. I too was rather surprised to see them materialize out of nowhere, and when they told me everything, I had trouble believing it as well. Who would believe someone claiming to be from the future? I wasn't truly convinced until after speaking with Wendy. Wendy, can we trust her? She saved us from the weapon's explosion, and she told us how to collect the shattered pieces of the Magi Key. I am well aware of that, Miss Peach, and she has my deepest gratitude. Without her, I would never have seen you two again. But my father always told me that everything comes at a price. Why exactly did she come to your aid? That much I would like to know. In any case, her knowledge about the Magi can't be questioned. The sparse descriptions of the Magi key I studied confirm her explanation. That changes nothing for my son. On the contrary, if we wipe the weapon from the timeline, Reno will never have thought to try activating it. A sizable chunk of history will be rewritten. To be perfectly honest, the very thought of it frightens me. How can we be sure there won't be unintended consequences? Well, I'm not going to sit around doing nothing. There's always a risk, no matter what you do in life. And frankly, it can't get much worse than this. I agree with Miss Peach. Regardless of what we change, the situation can only improve for me. For us, definitely. Perhaps not for everyone else. But then, I suppose it is worth a shot. I really hope we're doing the right thing, Dante. Quick, let's bring the pieces of the Magi Key to Wendy. I'm pleased to be helping you once again, Super Mario. You took like a five minute break. You'll get over it, Biba. All right, Biba's back in the party. Now everybody is, well, no, he's up to, now everybody's up to level two now, right? Everybody got one charge up. Oh, nice to have you back, Biba. I do kind of want to see what the upgrade to daisies has done, but for the time being, we will head back. Thought I was gonna die here. Because there is something that I have wanted to do for a long time now. We also want to show this off. Who shall I hit? The fountain! Well, that's kind of nice. It goes in a semi-circle. Full 180 degrees there. That's pretty nice. All right, so let's go back to the past if they will let me. How do I actually do this? Also, I need money. Possibly need money. Probably don't, but I'm gonna pick it up anyway. All right. Let's head here, and then how does this work? Do I... Okay, that's not entirely what I thought was going to happen. Do I just use the control terminal? System that looks super technologically advanced. Alright, so that didn't do it. How exactly do I go time traveling here? Can I talk to you? Dante, you'd like to know about the pieces of the Magi Key. Yes! Alright. So we got fire, ice, fragment, yeah, fragments of fire, ice, nature, earth, and time. I don't remember any of these, to be honest with you. Uh, pirates in a volcano. Uh, before the frozen continent, so early on north, southwest, right, to the, and then way to the southwest. Earth is with demons, so once again in the past, and then Windy Valley. All right, I guess that's fair enough. I was still a little unclear how to actually travel through time. It sounded like it all opened up for me, but I'm not really seeing that right now. Maybe I have to use the, no, I probably have to use the control terminal at the Magilith. That's probably how I do it. 
All right, so before we do that, since that didn't work, I have lots of ideas on what to do. Let's head back to the Windy Valley. No, it's not at the Windy Valley anymore, is it? No, it is back at, like all this stuff has moved on me now. Uh, it is back over here at the Prophet's place. What's this officially called? The Pyramid of the Prophet. Now it should be up top here. I still want to do something with this. It, yeah, it still doesn't work. It's so shiny. There should be something I can do with that. All right, this here, I want this. It's quite a fascinating machine. I have to wonder who manufactured such a thing. You think we'll need it later on, Dante? Yes. I agree. And we got the prototype X01. It hasn't flown very far or for very long, but it's a prototype. Sometimes I wonder where you keep all this stuff. Yeah, I've been wondering that too. Don't I have a boat? It says I have a boat. Is it only a two-dimensional boat? Why do I still have to take the ship? All right, either way, uh, let's head off. And we'll head back to where I know a working Magilith was, at least. I hope it still is there. Can't I just, like, get on the boat? All right, fair enough. We'll head back, and we'll try to go back to the past. There's so much to do. I don't know what to do first, uh, but... One thing that I do want to do is head back to the past and go talk to the blacksmith again. He was in the past, wasn't he? I swear it was the past. Yes. Yes. Let's go. Alright, so we're gonna head off to the past. Hopefully. Fingers crossed. I believe that they said I need to use a Magilith. I was hoping that that portal was just gonna do it for me, but... It just took me back to Wendy. Alright, so is this still open to me? Or do I have to hit the thing again? Yeah, it's still open. We just wanted to watch that cutscene before. Alright, here we go. Now, can I just travel wherever I want, or is it a set spot? I can't tell what time period I'm in, to be honest with you right now. I want to say this is the past, but I'm not entirely sure about that. It could be... No, this is... This is the present. I was hoping I got to select it. No, this is the past. This is new. Because there's a treasure chest here. I don't remember there being a treasure chest before. No. I wanted to get that thing. We have to destroy all of the pots. Otherwise, this was all meaningless. No, I can't destroy the pot! Invincible pot's my worst enemy. Pirates, how are you doing? Everybody talk to the pirate. Mr. Roberts, I presume. In the flesh. But you don't look like young souls thirsty for adventure. You look like you're living your own epic tale already. Make the most of it. Life is full of challenges for those who can seek them out. Some adventures can be rather painful. Take a lesson from my many years. The road may be full of peril, but the adventures along the way are worth your misery. Speaking of, would you like to aid me to my next adventure? Sure, something new. You see, as it turns out, how should I put it? it all, it's still all so new to me, but here goes. I'm in love. These things happen. So who's the lucky girl? She's... She's wonderful! She's amazing! She's strong, yet vulnerable! How could a woman like her love someone like me? Indeed, if you look at the statistics... I am not well versed in love, but perhaps a good start would be to compose a letter. My father never failed to send one off before engaging in thorny negotiations. A, a letter? Yes, of course! That's a splendid idea! Just a moment, please. Here you are. And we got a love letter to the one who boarded my heart and who plundered my sleep. The word choices. I didn't get to read all of it. Thank you. If she does embrace my love, then it's decided I shall retire and you will get my most prized treasures. Don't bother trying to find my stash. 
The spot's so well hidden, I alone know where it is. I will eagerly await her response to my letter. You'll recognize her easily. She is the most stunning, remarkable woman on the continent. Why does this have to be so complicated? It's such a cute story, don't you think, Dante? Negotiations seem to be proceeding well. If both parties demonstrate good faith, it should result in a mutually beneficial agreement. All right, let's take a closer look at that. Where is, yeah, I have a wonderful boat, but I still had to take everything here. All right, love letter to the one who boarded my heart and who plundered my sleep. The word choice is very distinctive. Noobs, ain't ya? Better watch it or I swear I'll rage quit this crew. Yeah, woohoo! It's so freaking cool being a pirate. Every day I think the seas I followed Mr. Roberts, but lately he's had a worried vibe about him. He's in love. The dread pirate Robert. What do they say? It's dreaded? All right, let's set sail. So this is my boat, which makes me think this is the present. Oh, see, it like I can go back. All right. So most beautiful woman on the continent. If this is indeed the present, then we need to head back to Windy Valley. And he will be waiting for us here. No, this is the past. Unless it's a little bit further on. No, this is the past. All right. That's, I don't know. Compared to the future, it's a little difficult seeing the difference sometimes. This is definitely like a Super Nintendo style game. The past one, I believe, is more of a Game Boy NES style to it. All right. So since we're in the past, there's some good stuff I want to take care of. First one is going to be pretty much back to the blacksmith. I have enough Oricon ore to get me that sword. That's the most important to me right now. Where is he? How you doing? You waste your time bothering me as I have no weapons for sale. You see, I only fashion the most exceptional of weapons, but such arms can only be forged with Oricon ore. I have six. You dug up some Oricon? Oh, let me forge you an item with that. What would you like me to make? I want the sword. Forge an Oricon sword? To make that item, I'll need to use pieces of Oricon ore. Four. Ugh. All right, let's do it. Here we go. I feel like it's going to be better for me in the long run to have more attack and less defense. At least for now. And it's complete. The ultimate sword, you won't find a sharper blade. Mighty fine work if I do say so myself. Please come back and see me if you have other items that need forging. All right, do I have enough for the boots? Probably not, that's probably gonna require three, but at least I got the belt and the sword. All right, how much for the boots? I think the armor was four or five. How much for the three? Yeah, I figured, all right. Fair enough. I think we're ready to go. You yeah, had Minecraft, Final Fantasy VII, and Zelda. I want to say Link to the Past Zelda? I don't know. Not up to date on all of my sword lore, but it's definitely one of the swords. All right, so since we're in the past, shouldn't there be a clearing here where I could have like had like paid a guy to dig stuff up is he no longer here no he's a little bit further on all right so they're both here now i have plenty of money i'm gonna find this damn hidden treasure of his i feel like it's gonna be in the same spot so i could just do it systematically from here yes four bushes yeah let's do it Okay, so I'm just going to start from the bottom left and, and work my way around. And that one. Technically, I got two there, and they didn't have them either. They didn't have it either. Am I supposed to be using powers here or something? All right, well, I feel like... Oh, that was it? I got it! 
How did you find my treasure? How? Well, here's for you. And now we got another Oricon ore. I can use that to make boots. I guess I'll do that since I'm here. I feel like there's still so much work to do. So much work. All right, so let's head back to Hephaestus Smith Smithing. Short for Hephaestus, I'm sure. All right, we got enough for the boots. We got the one for the boots. And then he takes a little bit of time. But damn it, we're getting the boots. We only have one more thing to make after this. I feel like we're making good progress in the game. And it's complete. Cozy, durable. With these ultimate boots on your feet, you can traverse the world in comfort. Mighty fine work, if I do say so myself. Please come back and see me if you have other items that need forging. Yeah, one more thing to go. I will have to probably look up where the last of the Oricon ore is at this point, but we'll see what we can do. All right, so since we're in the past, I kind of want to go to the frozen north, don't I? Are they going to get mad at me? Not so far. Now let's see what you can do, Biba. Level two. Yeah, go Biba. Give me a little bit of experience. It's all very necessary. Yeah, <laughs> I kill you in one hit. I have the Oricon Ore Sword now. You're so damn strong. Hopefully. I didn't actually get a chance to check it, but I assume so. Oh. Wait, wait, wait. We have a dock over here, and I have myself a boat. Let's sail off. Is this where I can find some Vikings? They said they were in the north after all. How far north can I go here? This looks nuts. I can just sail all the way around. Just like a smart empire, kingdom, whatever they are, they don't put a back door entrance to their castle. Not from the world map at least. All right, sailed all the way around. Let's get off and head in, see what we can do. The Magi Ruins are here. All right, I don't want to deal with that just yet. I want to explore what's here first. So what is this? The disembarking. What is the meaning of this? It's Dalkin. You sound surprised, Colonel. Surprised! Coming from you, Magus, it's no surprise! But you! How could you? Honestly, Colonel, come now. Try not to frighten my lieutenants. I'll soon have need of them. Your lieutenants! They belong to the Empire! Times change, Colonel. You see, I long served your great emperor, but no more. Now I shall have my turn on the throne. I've decided to establish my own empire right here. You're a madman. All you have are a few dozen soldiers. In just a few months, the real emperor will be here with his army. You won't stand a chance against him. Do not worry too much for my sake, Colonel. In that time, I will have conquered Demonia and wiped out the last of the demons, and my army will rival that of the Emperor. But how? I shan't reveal all my secrets, Colonel. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have a continent to conquer. Traitor! One-shotted! All right, red guy's bad, blue guy's less bad. Except for Dalton. Dalkin. He's a reference to Crow Trigger, isn't he? I have to stop them! Super Mario, we must act quickly. Demonia has yet to fall, and I can still aid my people. Alright, let's head out and see what we can do. I assumed that there were going to be Vikings up here. Now I am not entirely so sure. 
Are you gonna join my party too? I doubt it. I know you. You fled the Colosseum. What did you go by? Oh right, Super Mario, wasn't it? What are you doing out here? Ah, I see. Naturally, if you're with a Demonium Prince, where else would you go? Let us through. I'm sorry, but there's no use fighting them. You would need an army to reach Demonia. Even I'm powerless for the time being. There's one possibility. We could team up with the Empire. Never! Make a pact with Demonia? That's ludicrous! But there's no other way! If we don't stop mages, the fighting will only get worse. Tens of thousands will die. That's what I learned in school, anyway. We have to stop mages before he makes it to Demonia. Joining forces is the only way to do that. It is imperative we reach Demonia before time's run time runs out. And if to that end, I must ally with the Empire. For a short while, at least. So be it. Dalkin? It's not possible. I can't. My orders. We are at war with Demonia. Maybe, but it's Magus who started this war, hoping to seize Demonia and keep it for himself. And knowing that, you still want to follow orders? You ought to know to bend the rules when it's for the good of the Empire. But empires are bad. I... I can't. Can't go against orders. Well, Dante, it seems it won't be easy to persuade Dalkin. In my time period, he's known for having led the army that fought mages. The battle turned into a real bloodbath, and thousands died on both sides. That's why he's been dubbed Dalkin the Red. After his victory, if you can call it that, he left the military. He's likely still alive in my time. It makes me wonder where he would be now. We must convince him to allow us passage. I must come to my people's aid. Why won't he accept our help? It's the best option there is. So it's a no? I cannot become your ally. I have my orders. All right, well, I don't, I don't have anything. You want a love letter? Dante, it won't be an easy task to persuade Dalkin, but we simply cannot give up. I do wonder what became of him in my era, if they're not beating it, you know, into your heads yet. Uh, we have to go talk to Dalkin uh, back in, let's say, the present, and we'll try to get him to write a letter of some kind. All right, so before I travel through time, you know, I want to see what else I can do here. I assume that there's not much more I can do. Oh, I can just walk through. Sweet. Back in the, the demon camp. There was definitely the guy I didn't want to talk to here, but uh, looks like he didn't make it. I remember him. Now I'm sad. Why did I make myself sad? I could have just not come here. And it would have been similar. This one's broken, right? Isn't it broken? Yeah, it's broken. So, can't use that one. Can't really control where I go either. Uh, the the Magilists seem to push me in a very specific direction. So, still feel like there should be something around here. I remember that Wendy did say that there was something near Demonia, but its location was long forgotten. I was hoping that they would give me at least a little bit of a clue, but there's nobody here because of, you know, plot and war and all that. I was hoping we made it, you know, before then, but we did not. So, you know, through the haunted forest. I'd rather not go back there if I don't have to. Uh, let's head into Genova, I guess, and try to find the prettiest girl on the continent. Isn't this the time period with the kids, or no? No, this is not the one with the kids. Um, yeah, can I do anything here? Just give her the love letter? Nah, it's not working. So, it should- Oh, pots everywhere! I did not have access to this place before. There was somebody guarding the door, wasn't there? 
remember this. Spam for victory. Ah, green goop. They, they, they took a chunk of my health. Good God. Maybe I should have gone for, for the armor instead. Damn it. No, seriously, three hits. Three hits, I get three hits before I'm dead. That's kind of crazy. All right, now can I use you? All right, there we go. I, I don't know at what point they decided, all right, now you just can't get hit. But seemingly that is the decision here. I should be able to hit him with Biba, right? Nope. Just gotta time it here. All right, now I should be able to hit that one with Peach, shouldn't I? It was a wide enough spread. Yeah, all right, good. So I don't wanna get hit ever for anything whatsoever. I assume these are spikes of doom. Spike of... Spikes of instant death. Did I get hit? Mm, instant death again. Okay. Ah. Uh, 